Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. I'm coming. Something's ahead. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks and feathers. And a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? See what? The tree. The red oak. <laughs> The red oak. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the red oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck? How about you finally go down your own path? I... I just want to survive. No matter the cost. I always tried to think about what's good. For me. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> What's wrong with you? You got it all wrong. 
Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. Ooh, How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, Princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak! What you really want to find is... the hut. <gasps> what? I... Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. I think I finally know where to look for her. But first, I have to get some food to get my strength back. I keep having nightmares since. Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Poor girl. Slavitsa. Dragoy. I have to go hunting to get some meat first. Problem, little one. That's my good deed for the day. Big one. I hope I can take it down.
It'll need more than one shot. Your blood won't go to waste. It shall flow through my heart forever now, because we one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. A bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. set the bird free in the way I just did. People have always accused me of helping Baba, called me a, a freak. When Zora disappeared too, there was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So, here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak.
catch the flames to roast the meat. I'm not even cooking it. Looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. <laughs> Lost spirit. What the hell is wrong with this forest? Hmm. Three years ago, the same that haunts my every dream. <sighs> I'll just sneak a peek, look for any sign of Zora. <gasps> Bow before the master of the house. <sighs> my mask, it's trembling. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Oh... <sighs> The roots have overgrown this place. Ugh. We'll deal with it. Oh, is this... 
the one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him, and to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Yeah. <gasps> something. A trail of crumbs? Those goddamn kids always get their crumbs in the yard. <laughs> See the vines? Not bad. <gasps> the forest has been crawling with these lately. Bridge is broken. I can't. So you're gonna stand here forever now? I could try jumping over. No. Figure out something that makes sense. A Babak minus a mortal soul makes a shallow. Mm hmm. And? Their souls trapped in between, awaiting their chance. We've all been there. Mushrooms I heard about in old folk tales. I never thought you'd turn out to be real, though. What are you? Oh, oh, shoot. A human girl. And she's holding a bow. Should we? Wait. This mask on her face. Don't know why exactly, but it makes her look almost familiar. 
Not many of your kind coming here. Have you lost your way, girl? Ooh, I like her bow. It's such a nice bow. Uh, can I touch it? Uh, did she come alone? Uh, where's she? Keep it down, kids. Can't you see the grown-ups are talking? I'm... I'm looking for someone. And, well, the trail goes over the broken bridge, so... See, Borvi? The bridge is broken. It must have been the fire drake that burnt it. You mean a dragon? A vile, bloodthirsty reptile? No way you've got a real one here. Of course we haven't. A dragon just happens to be the best cover-up for whoever's behind that honey hustle. Anyway, they call me Borvi Borka. Slippery Jack at your service. My name's Yaga. What kind of name is that? <laughs> What's that short for? Quit your jabbering. I can't hear what she's saying. Would you... Would you happen to know another way across the river? Oh, there is no other way, I'm afraid. We could rebuild the bridge for you, but... Or rather have a bunch of beavers do it for us. Yeah, we sure could do this. But we need to take care of the fire drake first. <sighs> I wonder if this... This terrible, mighty dragon and, uh, lost spirit I saw a while ago could be linked somehow. Did you happen to see it too? Oh, a lost spirit, huh? I'm afraid I didn't. The restless souls reveal themselves only to whom they choose. And sometimes they can carry lost memories. Lost memories? Yes, the ones you both share. You have to follow the spirit and relive the memories, so the lost soul can finally rest. Some say it's nearly impossible that you may lose everything, including your life. But trust me, it's worth the risk. Because by helping the spirits, you might help yourself, too. Hmm. We all carry our own burdens. Ah, uh, yes. Such as the... Fire, Drake? Dragons used to be something you would rather hear about from the Elders. Stories about beasts breathing fire, eating sheep, but honey. The beast, this bloody hole eater, built its nest somewhere in our forest. Sometimes it sticks its ugly head from a cave and demands offerings. Honey's enough for it. Now, but the spring's just begun. It micro-hungry for meat or mushrooms. What a pile of rubbish. There is no bloody dragon. Just greed, vice, and deception. Honey is liquid gold. It rules the world, corrupts people. No wonder someone's using that for their own benefit. And we still can't afford to lose a single drop anymore. Hmm. Guess I won't know who's right until I find out on my own. It seems you've got a really burning issue here with the beast on your shoulders. But I really need to get across the bridge. So maybe we can help each other out? You seem like a crafty lass. Help us get rid of the beast, and we'll get the bridge fixed for you. Well, I'm not exactly a dragon slaying type. Oh, I'm sure you'll do just fine. Go find Rebel, a rather peculiar cursed type. He's a friendly face, even if it's a bit hard to tell. <laughs> He'll tell you what's what. Dragon or not, this thing needs to be taken care of. But you should start by finding my friend, the Noble Grand Knight. And get yourself a good luck charm, such as a horseshoe. <laughs> In any case, you should follow the dragon's roar. The roar? <laughs> Just go to the caves west from here. All right. I'll see what I can do. Off to a great adventure, I am. <laughs> Hang in there, Laura. Wherever you are. How did you get Mm-hmm. 
<laughs> Fancy a chat, girl? I... I, I never wanted to harm anyone. I still don't want to. I always try to do what's right. Trying is all you could ever do. <laughs> you got it all wrong. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You want to hide here in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the red oak. The red oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn oak! What you really want to find is... the hut. <gasps> what? I... Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. First, I have to get some food to get my strength back. I keep having nightmares since Father the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Falco, Slavitsa, Dragoy. So, what's your problem, little one? Big one. I hope I can take it down. The village. <coughs> I can't go back. Not without Zora. <coughs> more than one shot. Blood won't go to waste. It shall flow through my heart forever now, because we are one. Now meat goes over the fire. I'm hungry. my good deed for the day. A 
bite from that spider can kill in seconds. I'd better fix myself an antidote, just in case. Monsters trap birds just for fun. We can try to force them. People have always accused me of helping Baba. Called me a, a freak. When Zora disappeared too, there was nobody left to keep the angry mob away. So here I am. Finding my sister is my only option now. I need to get to the Red Oak. So good. Looks fine. Looking for a lost sister. <laughs> a lost spirit? Three years ago, the same that haunts my every dream. Yeah. <sighs> I'll just... <sighs> my mask. Again, but this is not a dream. Well, shit, it isn't. Surprised? Don't you remember all the times I saved your ass before? I... What do you... Better get used to it. This time I'm gonna stay for a good while, princess. I'll also help you get out of this mess you're in. Um... The roots have overgrown this place. Oh, we'll deal with it. Oh, is this... The one who watches over the world. But look what's happened to him. And to the world. Let him feed off of what you've brought. Press the seal. The seal? Yeah. Once upon a time, there were two twin sisters, Zora and Yaga. It was well past curfew. My sister sneaked out of the village. I 
followed her, as I always did. I took my bow. Yaga! I'm coming. Something's ahead. I always make arrows myself. This time wasn't any different. All I needed was some sticks, in fact, and a bit of work to put them together. Zora is always up to something. Can you see it? The red oak. We've often used it for target practice. Take a good look at it. If anything bad happens, always head straight to the Red Oak. I will meet you there. Uh, Zora? Was it you? Can't stand a second without a leash around your neck? How about you finally go down your own path? I... I just want to survive. No matter the cost. I always tried to think about what's good. For me. Trying is all you could ever do. What's wrong with you? You got it all right. Once upon a time, there was a freak with no face. How much longer you want to be a nobody? You just follow in your sister's footsteps. How far will you go when she's not around? Zora's got a, a plan. She always has one. It's time you had a plan. You wanna hide? Here, in the woods? You can't hide from Baba, princess. I, I just need to find the Red Oak. The Red Oak. <laughs> if anything bad happens... Stop it! Then forget the goddamn Oak! What you really wanna find is... The Hut. <gasps> what? Hi. Is it drilling into your little head? The hut. The hut! Just another bad dream. I haven't had a good night's sleep since Laura went missing. First, I have to get some food to get my strength. I keep having nightmares since Baba the Witch started snatching kids from the village. Volko, Slavitsa, Dragoy. Oh, it's a big one. I hope I can take it down. The village. Oh, I can't go back. Not without Zora. <laughs> 